am Dr. Andrew Redd. I'm a staff scientist at the Laboratory of Immunoregulation uh, in the International HIV and STD section of NIA. HIV superinfection is when an individual who is infected with HIV gets a second strain of the virus on top of the original strain that they had or the original viral population that they had. The population we're studying is either married couples or partners who have long-term relations, sexual relationships in Uganda who previously we had identified were infected with two different viral strains. And we looked for superinfection in these people mainly because what we were looking for was a case where one individual superinfected another. We worked together to identify this couple where a superinfection occurred and then to pinpoint exactly when the superinfection occurred and then isolate out the viruses from both partners to look at that neutralizing antibody response, right? The antibodies that bind and block in the virus from infecting new cells to see did the woman who became superinfected have neutralizing antibodies to her husband's virus? And what we found was that Although she had what we would consider to be a moderate neutralizing antibody response, when you looked at sort of a group of viruses that she wasn't exposed to, the virus that ended up super infecting her, she had no neutralizing antibody response to. It supports a lot of other data and a lot of other studies done at NIAD as well as all over the country that have indicated that any vaccine that we want for HIV that's going to be protective needs to have a very broad response. We need to have a response to not just one strain of HIV, but to a lot of the strains of HIV so that you get a maximal protection against any new infections. <music>